Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Runa. So today is an exciting video because today we are testing out the new Huda Obsession palettes. I think they're new, new Huda Nude Obsession palettes. So I have light, I have rich, and I have medium. I think they're super, super cute. And my nails match them too, as you can see. But anyways, I think this is like really cute because I like that she has light, medium and rich so they're different shades for every skin tone if you're like me and you're super obsessed with eyeshadow palettes you probably would want to get all three so this review is for every single palette so i try out every single palette and i test it out see how the colors work so if you guys love beauty reviews and makeup reviews if you like all things makeup if you are a makeup junkie don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn off the notifications so you guys can know what's going on on this channel every time I upload a new video. I do upload Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I'm here like three times, and sometimes I even have bonus videos. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go in with the Nude Huda Light. This is so that, so it comes with three version. I'm going in with the Nude Huda Light for the first one. Um, as you can see, that is the palette. And it came broken already. So this light color, I think it's like more for lighter complexion people. But I want to see if it shows up. Oh, look at that pink. Look at that mauve pink. So it is this mauve pink right there. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's this mauve pink right there. It's like super light, pastel y pink. I'm thinking it's going to look super chalky on me, but not with Huda's products. With Huda's products, shit looks the same on you. So just going to go in. And blend that into my skin. This is so stunning. I really love how pretty this pink is looking on me. It looks so good. So now I'm going in with a much more deeper brown. And I think this brown is a little hard to blend. Um... And that's the only tea so far is that it's a little hard to blend, but I think it's not difficult. It's not super difficult. I do like to go back in with a blending brush and I get to blend it out. So I will say this brown is not as easy to blend as I would like it to be. But it's still, I mean, this is pretty stunning. I mean, that pink is just so stunning, that like salmon-y color. I had applied the Duochrome right here so that shade right there i'm so scared to drop this so it's that shade right there um i feel like it went on really really nice it's a little sheer i expected it to be a little bit more intense but it's a little sheer but it's still really pretty and it is stunning af i love it and then i'm just gonna apply that so it goes on really nice what I like is that these shades are super, super metallic-y, but they will not like go on to your wrinkles and like set into your wrinkles, but there's a method of putting them on. You don't want to slide them on. You want to just dab it on because if you like drag it on, then you're just basically messing up the formula and it's best put on, tapped on. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a look with the nude medium and see how this one performs. So we're gonna go on to look to you guys. We're gonna use the Huda Beauty Nude Medium Palette. Remember the obsessions are three versions, the light, medium, and deep. So we're going into the medium. Hey guys, so I am so sorry. Um, I don't know what happened, but it seems like my mic just stopped working on this portion for this palette. So I'm gonna say that for this palette, which is the medium nude one. It's um, like, it, it works really well. It's your basic nude palette. The shadows went on really well. I didn't have any real struggles with blending on this color. It blends really, really nice. But once again, when I went into the darker color, it was harder and more challenging to blend, which is weird because usually I don't have problems like this with Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes, but it was a challenge with this one. Now these duochrome shadows are really nice. As I said in the previous look, you just gotta press them on 
and they look stunning once pressed on. Okay hey guys, so this is the finished look with the medium palette. So I'm gonna say this much. I actually really, really like this, this look on me for a medium skin tone. It actually came out good. The pigmentation is really, really nice. Um, I found it challenging to blend these out though. I was having a hard time blending these eyeshadows out. It wasn't as easy, it was skipping, it just wasn't doing what her normal eyeshadows do. So I wasn't really feeling these two colors. I was struggling to get those on and I felt like every time I packed on this color especially, it just faded away and it just wasn't sticking correctly and this shadow was skipping a lot. And then we're gonna move on to the Huda Rich palette. I'm super intrigued to use it. I'm using a Morphe 456 brush. It's just a flat head brush. I really like these flat head blending brushes. I find them super easy to use. Ooh, this one was really, ooh. I'm living for this color on my eye. I haven't used it yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. What I really like about this color, you guys, is how pigmented the color is and what I like about the rich palette is it's actually a really different color scheme I will say this much you guys that these Huda Beauty palettes can be a little tough to blend I've been having a real hard time I don't usually have this problem with her larger palettes but with this one oh my gosh I'm having a hard time I really am and it's not like I'm not someone that doesn't know how to do my makeup. I mean, I'm pretty. I feel like I'm fairly experienced, but it just does not blend. Her shadows don't blend that well. Hmm. Pretty palette, but the darker colors are just not blending as well. Now I'm just going to go in to this brown color right here. I mean that brown, this brown, this dark brown is blending really, really nice. So maybe it was the red. Or maybe you need more of a creamier concealer. I mean creamier eyeshadow primer because I feel like these eyeshadows have such staying power on it that you don't really need to use something that's for staying power. Maybe you just need to use something to blank out your eyes. So maybe a concealer would have worked better with this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go in with this pink shade right here. I love these duo crumbs by Huda. They're so good. I hope she like one day makes a palette of like just these like duo chrome pal eyeshadows. I mean she probably won't, but this is really nice. She could do like a mini one with all duo chrome. Because this is so pretty. Like look at how nice that is. I feel like that's what makes it up. Like, that's why people, like, fall for her palettes, because these sh these shadows that she includes, oh, they're just so pretty. But they're tricky to use, because you gotta, like, pat them on. You can't just, like, glide them on, because the moment you glide them on, it just looks messy. So you just want to, like, dab it on. I only glide in the beginning, and then, like, to build color, I start just, like, dabbing it on. Once you put the chrome on it just makes these eyeshadows look really nice um she definitely huda beauty always does amazing color combinations with her palette she just like knows what's gonna go good or her team knows i don't know who does it but somebody be hooking her up with these combinations and they're so pretty like this is stunning 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 I'm just gonna take this like smoky color right there, a little neutral color, and I'm just gonna try to smoke everything out just so it can look seamless. Okay guys, so this is the final look from all three of the Huda Obsessions nude palettes. So you guys, if you guys wanna know my final opinion on these palettes, I'm gonna go real quick through them and let you guys know. I think this was definitely brown girl friendly. I think it was really pretty and nice. But I don't think it's worth $29 because I feel like she has the Huda New Nude palette, which is a huge palette, and I feel like this is just a mini version of that, and if you have that palette, then just keep that palette or 
if you are not into that, if you don't want that big palette, then get this. But I still feel like the new nude, the huge one, the big one at $65 it's worth it more than this one in my opinion because I have that one as well and I feel like the new nude one is a combination of these two together and I feel like the formula on the new nude is a lot better than these two right here I feel like I found it super super hard to blend any of the dark shadows in this one like I was just I was really struggling with these shadows and blending them out. This one just like practically didn't even show up on me. So I really just was not feeling these two that much. Not that they're horrible, I just feel like for the money wars, is it worth your coins? Is it worth your money? In my opinion, it wasn't. I do think Huda Beauty's bigger palettes, which are like the Rose Gold palette, the New Nude palette, the Desert Dust palette. She even has a new one called the Metro Retrograde. Those are super, super worth it because they're really nice and they I just feel like the formula on those are a lot better maybe they're the same formula and maybe I'm just like psyching myself out but I think the formula on those are a lot better because I never struggle blending with those palettes and if you had to buy one if you had to buy one I would buy the nude rich because I feel like the nude rich is very very unique I feel like even in the new nude palette, she doesn't have colors like this in there. And then also in the rose gold palette, there's not a lot of colors like this either. So if you had to get one and you're like, I'm just a Huda Beauty collector. I love collecting nude palettes. I would go with this one because you could do a solid smoky eye with this. You could just wear it by itself. You could do a very subtle look with it. I think this is a super, super gorgeous palette. And um, this was really, really worth it. So you guys, that's my final verdict. I know maybe it wasn't the most popular opinion, but it's still an honest opinion. So you guys, I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys want to see more reviews like this, this let me know and I'll do more for you guys. I love trying out eyeshadow. I love playing with makeup. I'm going to be doing the Shane Dawson palette. I'm going to do four looks with that palette. That will be coming up soon because I can't just do one look and tell you guys if this is bomb or not. I'll do four looks with it and then I'll let you guys know. I also have the Huda Beauty Mer Mercury Retrograde palette and I'm going to check that one out too. I'll have that review up for you guys pretty, pretty soon. So I am going to bid adieu. I'm going to say bye. See you guys in the next video. Bye!